Hey there YouTube, today me and my wife will be carving a pumpkin. We needed to buy a couple of things before we can actually do this project and I needed to get some carving tools for the pumpkin as well as some lights we can put into it afterwards. What I liked about this kit is that it came with a piece of paper inside that explains the basics of carving a pumpkin and what tools to use. The tools themselves uh, were pretty decent. Uh, some of the larger tools meant for the beginning of the carving process uh, they had a nice big handle and they didn't slip at all some of the smaller tools they have a smaller handle and the purpose of that is so you can have a more um, dexterous control of it while you carve by the way if you guys need any of the items in this video I'll have the links to them in the description of this video so we started off cleaning the pumpkin and just wiping it down and then just drew a line on the top part which we wanted to cut out so that we can gut the pumpkin. We put a little notch on the top so we won't lose the correct orientation when we go to cover the top with the cap. So this was very exciting. I went ahead and uh, used the correct tool and cut out the top of the pumpkin and it came out really nice so far. This large round tool that the kit came with made it extremely easy to just sort of gut the pumpkin and pull apart everything that's stuck inside. I just sort of scraped around in there and got everything loosened up. Once everything was loosened up, I just stuck my hand in and just started pulling out all the seeds and everything else that's inside. After a few minutes of scraping and pulling things out, it ended up looking really nice inside just like this. Here my wife is using a dry erase marker to draw the shape we would need to carve out from the front of the pumpkin. The reason why we used a dry erase marker is because it's actually easy to erase with just water so that if we make any mistakes we can just redraw it easily. Here we are uh, almost done with the carving. We've used various tools to carve all the smaller parts. It's very satisfying pushing loose carved pieces out from behind. Once we were done carving out the main parts, we went ahead and switched to detailed tools and cleaning up some of the carving that didn't go so smoothly. Some of these smaller tools made it very easy to do all this very detailed work. In the end, we went ahead and grabbed a couple of LED lights and threw it inside the pumpkin. It came out really good and we were very proud of ourselves. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.